Asus is one of the world's leading computer hardware companies, known for its high-quality motherboards, graphics cards, laptops, and other products. Founded in 1989 in Taipei, Taiwan, Asus has grown from a small startup to a global brand with a reputation for innovation, quality, and sustainability. The company's success can be traced back to its early years, when a group of engineers came together with a shared vision of creating high-quality computer motherboards. At the time, the motherboard market was dominated by companies in Japan and the United States, and Asus faced significant competition from established players. Despite the challenges, Asus quickly gained a reputation for innovation and quality in the motherboard industry. In the years that followed, the company expanded into other areas of computer hardware, including graphics cards, peripherals, and accessories. Today, Asus is a major player in the computer hardware industry with a global presence and a commitment to sustainability. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the history of Asus, from its early days as a startup to its current position as a global leader in the computer hardware industry. We'll explore the company's key achievements and milestones, and examine the factors that have contributed to its success. Whether you're a longtime fan of Asus or simply interested in the history of computer hardware, this video will provide a fascinating look at one of the most innovative and influential companies in the industry. The early years of Asus Asus was founded in 1989 by a group of engineers in Taipei, Taiwan. The company's initial focus was on producing computer motherboards, which are the main circuit boards that connect all the components of a computer. At the time, the motherboard market was dominated by companies in Japan and the United States, so Asus faced significant competition from established players. Despite the challenges, Asus quickly gained a reputation for innovation and quality in the motherboard industry. In 1991, the company introduced its first 486 motherboard, which was designed to be compatible with Intel's popular 486 processor. This was followed by the release of the world's first Intel Pentium-compatible motherboard in 1994, which helped establish Asus as a major player in the industry. Asus also began to expand its product line in the mid-1990s, introducing its first graphics card in 1996. The card was based on the ATI Mach 32 chip and was designed to improve the graphics capabilities of personal computers. Asus quickly gained a reputation for high-quality graphics cards, and the company's products were soon in demand by gamers and other power users. By the end of the 1990s, Asus had established itself as one of the leading motherboard and graphics card manufacturers in the world. The company had also begun to diversify its product line, producing a range of computer peripherals and accessories, such as CD-ROM drives, sound cards, and monitors. Despite the success, Asus faced a major setback in 1997 when a devastating earthquake hit Taiwan. The earthquake caused significant damage to Asus's manufacturing facilities, resulting in a temporary slowdown in production. However, the company was able to recover quickly and continued to expand its product line throughout the 2000s. Diversification and expansion In the mid-1990s, Asus began to diversify its product line, introducing a range of computer peripherals and accessories. The company's first foray into this area was with the introduction of CD-ROM drives, which were becoming increasingly popular among computer users. Asus's CD-ROM drives quickly gained a reputation for high quality and reliability, helping to establish the company as a leading manufacturer of computer peripherals. Asus also began to produce sound cards, which are used to enhance the audio quality of personal computers. The company's first sound card, the Asus A10, was released in 1997 and quickly became a popular choice among gamers and other users who demanded high-quality audio. In addition to these peripherals, Asus also began to produce computer monitors, starting with the release of its first 14-inch CRT monitor in 1997. The company's monitors quickly gained a reputation for high quality and reliability, and Asus became a popular choice among users who demanded top-notch display quality. As the 1990s drew to a close, Asus continued to expand its product line, introducing a range of networking equipment and other products. In 1999, the company introduced its first wireless router, which allowed users to connect to the internet without the need for cables. This was followed by the release of a range of other networking equipment, including switches, hubs, and modems. Asus also began to produce laptops and other portable devices in the early 2000s. The company's first laptop, the Asus S5N, was released in 2002 and quickly gained a reputation for high quality and reliability. Since then, Asus has become a major player in the laptop market, offering a range of models for both consumers and business users. 
In recent years, Asus has continued to expand its product line, introducing a range of smartphones and tablets. The company's Zenfone and Zenpad product lines have been particularly successful, offering high-quality devices at competitive prices. Overall, Asus's diversification and expansion have played a key role in the company's success. By expanding into new areas and offering a wide range of products, Asus has been able to appeal to a broad range of customers and establish itself as a major player in the computer hardware industry. Asus Expansion and Innovations Asus continued to expand its product line throughout the 2000s, branching out beyond motherboards and graphics cards to produce a wide variety of computer hardware. In 2002, Asus launched its first notebook computer, the M2 series. This was followed by the EEE PC in 2007, a revolutionary new netbook that was smaller, lighter, and more affordable than other laptops on the market. The EEE PC was a huge success selling over 300,000 units in its first four months and earning numerous awards for innovation and design. In addition to its expansion into the notebook market, Asus also continued to innovate in the motherboard and graphics card industries. In 2007, the company released the first motherboard with an embedded Linux operating system, the Asus P5E3 Deluxe. This allowed users to access basic computing functions without a full operating system, improving system efficiency and reducing energy consumption. Asus also made a splash in the gaming industry with its Republic of Gamers line of high-end gaming hardware. Launched in 2006, ROG quickly became a favorite among gamers for its top-of-the-line graphics cards, motherboards, and laptops. Asus also established partnerships with professional gaming teams and hosted gaming tournaments around the world, cementing its reputation as a major player in the gaming industry. Challenges in future While Asus has seen tremendous success over the years, the company has faced its fair share of challenges as well. In addition to the cyber attack mentioned earlier, Asus has also had to contend with changing market conditions and economic downturns. One of the biggest challenges faced by Asus was the rise of smartphones and tablets. As more consumers began to rely on mobile devices for their computing needs, sales of traditional desktops and laptops began to decline. However, Asus was quick to adapt, developing its own line of smartphones and tablets to compete in the mobile market. Another challenge faced by Asus has been the increasing competition from other computer hardware companies. Brands like Dell, HP, and Lenovo have all expanded their product lines and improved their marketing strategies, making it harder for Asus to stand out in a crowded market. However, Asus has remained committed to innovation and quality, and has continued to differentiate itself from its competitors with unique products and features. Looking towards the future, Asus has expressed interest in exploring new technologies like artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. The company has already made significant investments in these areas, with products like the Asus Zenbo robot and the Asus Lyra mesh Wi-Fi system. Additionally, Asus has established partnerships with other companies and research institutions to collaborate on innovative new projects. Despite the challenges it has faced, Asus remains a major player in the computer hardware industry with a strong brand and loyal customer base. The company's dedication to innovation and quality will no doubt continue to drive its success in the years to come. Conclusion today, Asus is a global leader in the computer hardware industry known for its high-quality products and innovative designs. The company's products range from motherboards and graphics cards to laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Asus has also expanded into other areas, such as networking equipment and home entertainment devices. One of the keys to Asus's success has been its focus on innovation and quality. The company has a strong research and development team, which is constantly working to improve existing products and create new ones. Asus has also been able to build strong relationships with its suppliers, ensuring that it has access to the latest technology and components. Another factor that has contributed to Asus's success is its commitment to sustainability. The company has implemented a range of environmentally friendly practices, such as reducing energy consumption and using recycled materials in its products. Asus has also established a program to help customers recycle their old electronics, reducing the amount of e-waste that ends up in landfills. As the computer hardware industry continues to evolve, Asus is well positioned to continue its success and remain a leader in the field. Well. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this look at the history of Asus and that you learned something new about this fascinating company. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.